Hey everybody and welcome back to another tangent tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a really cool effect, the mirror effect inside of Adobe After Effects. Um, this effect can be used for making a lot of cool pieces for b-roll and maybe like a music video or a title sequence. Um, I'm sure you've seen it before um, and if you haven't seen it this is kind of the effect you get. Um, so yeah it's really cool, it's really easy. You can get a lot of different results um, with really just a couple clicks. Uh, yeah, so here we go. All right, so I'm here inside of Adobe After Effects and I have this little piece of footage. Um, it's a little piece of drone footage. Pretty short, pretty simple. Um, and what I'm gonna do is go over here to the effects panel and type in mirror effect. It is under distort mirror. Uh, select my footage and add it on. Uh, when you add on this effect, it's first thing you can do is just divide uh, by two and it splits it down the middle. So you boom, with it, without it, with it. And from here, you can go flip it again, 180, and you get a completely different shot. Uh, I like this one better. It's got this cool piece of geometry in the middle. See how it moves. Uh, he's got these cool little duck things going out. And yeah, I mean, you've already got a pretty cool effect with it right now. Uh, to make it look a little bit better, I'm gonna go up and I'm going to go to Window and add the Dojo Toolkit and add a little vignette. Uh, Dojo, this thing is really cool. It's found, you can find it on the creativedojo.com where there's a lot of other tutorials and a couple plugins. Uh, the plugins are all really cool. He, they think he has them as pay what you want, so you can pay five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, or get them for free, whatever you can afford. And they're all really cool and all really useful. So I added on a vignette layer, and that just drags my focus in more to the middle. So it's looking pretty cool. And now what we can do from here is I can, I'm gonna duplicate this twice. I'm gonna turn off the bottom one. And I'm going to go down to here, uh, go to its position, zero it out, go up to the top position, hit P, and multiply it by two. Now what this is gonna do is give you this weird, unusable, really crappy thing, but if you flip it, if you hit R, and just go to 180, you get a more traditional kaleidoscope effect. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. That's another way to use it uh, in your projects. And what's cool about the effect is the same thing with the normal two-way effect. If you just go up here and let's zero it out. And maybe go down to the bottom one, top one, and zero that out as well. You have a, another completely different, uh, completely different shot just with like two clicks. And for me, I like this one better. Um, I can go in, hit Option Command Y, add an adjustment layer, uh, go in here, maybe add a curves effect. Um, I want to make it a little darker, so I'm going to go in here, that, maybe bring this, no, not that, bring this up a little bit. Um, make it even more darker. Um, add another curves. Go in here and just work with the green layer, bring down the greens a little bit, make a little bit more red. Um, there's, I guess, kind of cool. And yeah, so you can see how it's just a really easy thing to get creative with and play around with. Uh, I mean, this works great with city footage, uh, with um, any kind of like abstract water and stuff like that. I mean, you can put it on pretty much anything, just as long as the camera's not too shaky. You want to kind of steady camera and some movement around it, whether it's a smooth camera move or a still camera with just movement being filmed. Uh, it makes it interesting. And yeah, I'd love to see more of this effect. You already see it a lot, but I think it's pretty cool. And I thought I'd show you guys how to do it. All right, well, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.